Okay, we're going to start talking about division of fractions, and we have a word problem that we're going to use as our example today. Mrs. Smith had half of a pumpkin pie left over. She split the leftover pie evenly between her three children. What fraction of a pie did each child get? Now, the most useful thing to do when we're working on division of um, fractions is to make models. So we're going to do that right now. Okay. And here we have not a whole number by a fraction, but a fraction by a whole number. We're going to look at both today. All right, so I'm going to make a square pie. I know that's a little silly, but that's all right. And half of it is what we have as leftover. She wants to divide half of that pie between her three children. Divided by... So half of it, we're going to divide into thirds. Now we see that half of the pie divided into thirds is really sixths. So how do we get, so how much pie is there for each child? Each child is going to get one sixth of the pie. Now a trick that I said that we would learn is really, really easy. But it helps to show the model first so we understand what's happening when we divide fractions. The trick is we keep the first number, here it's a fraction, one half, as is. But then we flip the second number and we multiply. So we're going to flip three and make it one third. We know that when we multiply fractions, we multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. We end up with the same answer and our model proves that. And we know that fractions are related to division because multiplication and division are inverse operations. But it's really helpful to, to represent these kinds of division problems using a model. Okay. Now we'll look at a different type of division problem and that's starting with a whole number and then dividing by a fraction. The modeling is still going to be very helpful, but the process is a little bit different. So let's take three pizzas and each child is going to get one fourth of a pizza. So now we want to know how many children will get pizzas. All right, let's take a look and we'll model this. Three pizzas, two, three, and each of those pizzas are divided into fourths. Really what we're going to find out here is how many slices of pizza there are. Not so good on that one. So three, whoops, three pizzas divided by one-fourth is going to tell us how many slices that there are. When I look, I see that there's four, eight, twelve, slices of pizza. Now how do I know this? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in my model. So if I use our other trick that we've learned and that's to flip the second either fraction or whole number and multiply, we should also come out with the same number. So we're going to flip 1 fourth and make it 4. When we multiply we come out with 3 times 4 is 12. Same answer and our model shows us that it's exactly the same.